Hello and welcome to Only Connect. These are the semi-finals and we're in for a very difficult quiz. Luckily, we're down to our cleverest teams. These are the people who make quizzing cool and attractive. When they go on a date, they don't just get to second base, they communicate in base 16. Mmm, <laughs> hexial intercourse. <laughs> Those brilliant teams are, on my right, Paul Beecher, an MPhil student whose home village of Ballyhooley in County Cork contributed the word Ballyhoo to the Oxford English Dictionary. Simon Spiro, a mature student with a keen interest in high-altitude ballooning who once thanked six men for mugging him in South Africa. <laughs> and their captain, Sean Blanchflower, a software manager who was once prevented from playing croquet by Prince Charles. United by a weakness for walking, they are the Orienteers. Sean, most of our teams are some sort of collective now, and are you really Orienteers? Yes, we really do spend our weekends running around a freezing cold forest. Excellent. And is that helpful for playing Only Connect? Well, we think just like, just like Only Connect, we like our challenges to be both mental and physical. Excellent. Well, they are going to be both mental and physical, except physical. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. You are playing tonight, on my left, Anne Miller, a politics and sociology graduate who has travelled for professional reasons to an operating theatre, the Scottish Parliament and a Sheffield scissor factory. Andrew Hunter-Murray, a writer whose specialist subjects include leeches, holy relics and history's greatest imposters, but mostly leeches. <laughs> and their captain, James Harkin, a New York Times best-selling author who can drink a pint in three seconds. Presumably here all along on a secret mission to garner facts for our Big Brother quiz, they are the QI Elves. James, the Elves took a bit of a risk to come above ground and, and play a quiz rather than research one. How have you enjoyed it? Um, we have enjoyed it, um, although I keep having this horrible anxiety dream that I'm on a show called QI Does Boggle and I can't get any words. <laughs> that is a brilliant idea for a show. <laughs> Let's press on to see who's going to make the final. It's round one, in which I simply want to know what is the connection between four apparently random clues. Orienteers, you won the toss, but you're putting the elves in first. So, James, please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, could we have uh, two reads, please? Yes, you could. Good luck, everyone, in this difficult episode. You're going to be getting some picture clues. Okay. What connects them? Here's the first. OK, I can't see that very well. Do you know who that is? No. Uh, next. Is that a character from something like Chumba Buffy or...? No, I don't think so. And uh, next! Do you know who that is? Yeah, OK. Uh, next! OK, self-admits club. Is there a nickname for those people? Where's the first three also now? Oh, I don't know about self Self-admits club. Self-admits Three seconds. Oh, OK. Yeah, good one. Um, they're all sellies? I'm afraid not. Cool. Orienteers, you've got the chance of a bonus point. They Certainly the last one appeared on um, a Smith's album cover, so we'll extend that. They've all appeared on Smith's album covers. Close enough. They have appeared on Smith's record sleeves, sometimes singles, but do you know who you're looking at? No, nope. <laughs> we really don't. <laughs> we really don't. <laughs> yes, the Salford Lads Club. It's also Youther Joyce in the first clue, Pat Phoenix and Candy Darling. So you get a bonus point, and what question would you like for yourselves? Twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Cersei. Oh, that's something in the Odyssey. Yes, but do you remember what it was called? No. Next, please. Three toes, there's an I. Oh, it's the only thing that's got six but in cervical vertebrae. I, I, oh, no, eight. It? Is that no, what the no, Cyclops answer? Was the Cyclops on Cersei? Is no. Cersei oh, is the witch. It turns into the pigs. Oh, okay. Scylla? Oh, sure. No. no Next, please. Like the I.O. and A.I. is the name of a, of a, of a slave. Yeah, consistent entirely of... And then two letters. Yeah, two. Words that consist entirely of vowels. That is a brilliant answer. You didn't need to see the fourth clue, French for water, O. Oh, these all are represented by words that contain no consonants. What are those words? The third lot is Jovian Moon, the Moon of Jupiter is Io. Um, Simon tells me the three-toed sloth is also known as the I, A-I. Apparently its name comes from the noise it makes, so it's perhaps an I. <laughs> 
And what about the first one? We don't know who came from Circe. Well, no, uh, Circe mm. is the witch who uh, Odysseus meets on the second island he visits after the Cyclops, but I cannot remember. The mythological island of... Ea. It's not a Scrabble word. <laughs> Names that contain no consonants. Very well done. Back to you, elves, for a question. Uh, could we have lion, please? Yes, you could. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next. Next. Uh, next. Um, stab in the dark, we're going to go for pastoral. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Orienteers, do you know? We'll try the night. That's not it either. We heard pieces of Glinka's Trio Pathétique, Liszt's Concerto Pathétique, Tchaikovsky's Symphony No. 6, The Pathétique, and Beethoven's Sonata No. 8. What do you think that's called? Um, no idea. Patetic, <laughs> they are all known as Patetic. like our attempt in that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, no bonus for you, Orienteers, but you may choose a question. Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Um, what kind of equations? Does it end with zero? No, is it triple zero? No. Nothing I can do with that. Next, please. It's a, I think this is a character, yeah. a kind of exotic what character ca of some sort. What, ca what, what is there? A, could there be a character that represents that it's equation? Like... I think we'll need more. Next, please. Oh, oh, like a heart. It makes a heart shape. Because that's the game okay. for, for. Yes, then that would be the cardio. Yes, very yes. Good. it's a cardio. Very good. Heart shapes. They make heart shapes. That equation would draw out a heart. That Unicode. That's for the black heart symbol on a computer. Less than three, people use it on social media, don't they? If you write less than three and turn it over, it looks like a heart. And you didn't need to see the lovely courting swan's necks. It would also make a heart shape. Very well done. Elves, what would you like next? Uh, could we have horned viper, please? Yes, you could. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. OK. All right, horned fast humiliation. Is it going to be a painting? Uh, next. The soccer team. Oh, oh, I know. They played without football boots, I think. Right. Yes. Was he barefoot? Yeah. Go with that. Go with that. Are you sure? Yeah, I go for it. Give me the button. Give me the button. We're going to try barefoot. Well gambled. The answer is barefoot. That first clue represents Henry IV's submission to the Pope. He stood barefoot in a oh, courtyard yeah, right. to appear penitent. You didn't need to see hobbits. They find it tricky to go shoe shopping, so <laughs> rarely wear them. And Sandy Shaw sang barefoot. But coming in after two clues, you get three points. Well done. One question left for you, Orienteers. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Then um, the I don't think it's football. So. Next, please. New um, station built for oh, yes, that's what international be. international stations. There wouldn't be an international station in Birmingham. Would there? Was that when why would it be built? a why would there be a dash? It suggests it's there. oh, because it could be Waterloo up until. Next, please. Um, Next, please. Yeah, yeah times yeah. there are international stations. Then. International stations. You can add the word international to get a railway station. That's right. Very well done. Where do you think you can travel to from Stratford International? Nowhere. Yes, you certainly can't go anywhere international. They were hoping the Eurostar would stop there, but it doesn't. Yes. Nevertheless, Stratford International it remains. At the end of round one, the QI elves have three points, the Orienteers have six. Does it seem a bit too easy? 
Let's make it harder. <laughs> sequences now. This time, the teams must work out the connections between some clues, but also the sequence in which they come, and tell me what comes forth. Elves, you're to go first again. Which question would you like? Um, we'll have um, two reads, if we may. Yes, you may. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Are we going to go next? Uh, next. I think we should go next. Yeah, yeah, do. Uh, next. Scotch bonnets. <laughs> Bible bonnets. Scotch bonnets. Scotch bonnets. Have to go for something. Um, Three seconds. Good luck. <laughs> um, can we have? Uh, we'll try one of four. C. Can't see a sequence there, I'm afraid. So orienteer is a bonus chance. I believe Simon wishes to embarrass himself. Um, <laughs> are the, is it abattoir slang for the different cow stomachs of the cow chambers of the stomach of the cow? One of four being the largest. The rumen would have a name, maybe the leaf or something like that. <laughs> That's frightening. One of four paunch. I would have accepted one of four rumen. They are stomachs of a ruminant. <laughs> and the fourth Did would be that? some sort of name for rumen. You get the point. Yes! Very well done. OK, orienteers. What would you like next? Lion, please. OK. If you could get that last one, you could get anything. How will you do with this? <laughs> What's the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Jump. <clears throat> Um, I think we need more. Yeah, next Just where people fall over and... Um, yeah, I mean, they only use it on the second lap. Next, please. A chair. Mm. What are they called? Mm. Ah. Mm. Maybe it's... No, I, 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 that's I'm thinking. Okay. I can't see it yet. Next, please. Is it happen an extra day, or...? No. What's the score? Well, no, it's got me scores. I mean, it's time breaking when we leave these. The chair is... Does it happen in a special court? No. Some sporting. Three seconds. Fourth FA Cup final. Not an acceptable answer, I'm afraid. What a shame we left the abattoir behind where you were so comfortable. <laughs> so there is a bonus chance for the QILs. You can give me an answer. Fourth, um, the bell on a 2,000 metre running race. <laughs> and why would that be? We think it's something that only happens on that, on this first lap, the second lap, the third time or the fourth time that something happens. That is the exact opposite of the answer. <laughs> they are things that are omitted oh. at those stages. The water jump is omitted in the first round oh. of the 3,000 metre steeplechase. You don't have the chair on the second lap of the Grand National. There is no tie break in the third set uh, yeah, of the Wimbledon of ladies match because yeah. that's the decider. And I wanted to hear something that's omitted at the fourth stage for example, the vowels on Only Connect. Yes. Sorry, I'd like to have given you a bonus there, but I couldn't. I may, though, offer you another question. Oh, OK. Um, we would like Twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. What would come forth in this horrible sequence? Here's the first. Uh, orange, three, dice. Shall we go next? Yep. And uh, next. Oh, no, because they're all equally like. Oh, that's not the same colour, is it? No, no. Right, so the line, it's like the circle line's got six thousand, but there's not orange line, we've just got three. Okay, should it's we go? DLR. Go with the DLR. So the line which has. Keep going, keep going. Uh, next. District line. District. Doesn't work. <laughs> oh, um, should we. Okay. Uh, I don't know the set on the Two seconds. Um, can we have a red dice with three dots? I'm afraid not. So, orienteers, it's your chance for a bonus. We'll go for a blue dice with five, five d dots on. The answer would be a blue die with five dots is on. It is it the colour plus the number of letters in the previous <laughs> word Sorry. in the spectrum? Have you been reading my emails? <laughs> <laughs> it is a sequence of spectrum colours, the dots representing the number of letters in the previous colour. Very well done. <laughs>
Let's go. Okay, Orienteers, you're starting to frighten me. Maybe you'd like to make a choice. Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Int. Interregnum. Is that where the king was in the interregnum? It's a place in front. Next, please. Moscow. Oh, international. International. Um, social. Oh, like these sort of socialist international, workers international. Uh, Do you know where it's going? I don't know where it's going. In, uh, Next, please. Paris, yeah, that sounds... I think revolution. Place of, yeah, I mean, it could be. It's, I think it's something for It could be London. It could be somewhere where you think there's. Could be. Could it happen? Three seconds. First int London. Is the right answer. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you we said it no like you didn't think it would be. We have no idea why. But I think you do know why because I heard you discussing socialist internationals. Oh, that really? is exactly <laughs> what they are, and in. A chronological order, but going backwards. So the first International Working Men's Association, London, 1864. Very well done. Back to you then, Els. Um, we would like water, please. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. OK. Oh, that looks nice. Right. Uh, uh, OK, well, it's red. Is that a computer? Uh, can you? Oh, let's go next. Yeah, next, please. So... No, it's going to be, like... It's going to be in computing, oh, like okay. programming. The code code. Back. So it'll be cyan, that it'll be something else. So yeah. we don't know. Uh, next. Yeah. So can we think of so it'll be how many Fs will this be? All Fs. Cyan. Because they're all cyan. Three seconds. <laughs> We're going to try um, hash and then six Fs in the colour of cyan. Not the answer, I'm afraid. <laughs> Orienteers, your turn. Hash, then six zeros in black. No. <laughs> it's a hash and six Fs in white. Oh, OK. They are hex triplets. They're hex codes for web colours. And white would be oh, okay. the next one. The codes are getting higher, and the highest would be six Fs representing white. <laughs> Orienteers, there is one question left, the horned viper. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Malta. Malta. Is when they became... Cross. Is it when the knights won? Mm. Next, please. Oh, oh, um, oh D to C Deutschland. C M for Malta. D. Oh, so, no, so, M, C, D, C, D, C L. L. So Is where? it Luxembourg? I don't know. But I'd go with that. Oh. Could there be anyone else that could be? Lithuania, Latvia... Liechtenstein. Luxembourg seems most likely, doesn't it? It's yes. probably one of the Western ones. So it'd be 50 yeah. equals yeah. Luxembourg. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. 50 equals Luxembourg? Well, of course it is. That was an easy one. <laughs> Why is it 50 equals Luxembourg? Descending Roman numeral letters and then the uh, the single letter, I guess the, the nice international letter, registration yeah. number, uh, the car registration letter for that country. That's right, the vehicle codes. So a 1,000 would be an M in Roman numerals and that's Malta, 500, D for Germany, C for 100 would be Cuba, 50, L for Luxembourg. At the end of round two, the QI elves have three points, the Orienteers have 13. Still too easy? Let's give them 16 clues on the connecting walls. They'll be all jumbled up and the teams need to sort them into four connected groups of four. I imagine you'll take about seven seconds and then we'll just chat about where we're going on our holidays. You are going first this time, Orienteers, and you have the choice, lion or water? Lion, please. Lion. You have two and a half minutes to solve this wall, starting now. Okay, Abby, nothing, Abby. Um, Park Abby is it? Yeah. Abby Net, is that a kind of dance, Abby? Mm -hmm. um, I'd say they're musical instruments of some sort. Uke. Yeah, like a word of a Golden combo? Like is that so like the Baldwin twin, you know, the, the brothers, any of those? Like Alec? And... Anything else that could be a. Uh, Redwall's um, an abbey in the books. In the, it's, a, it's a series of children's books. We try to see. Maybe instance. we should do abbeys. So where have we got? There's Parks and Abbey, Roads Abbey, Redwall. Down that, down to Abbey. Yeah, to... Redwall. Wait. Do you see any others other than... Uh, no, I'm missing. No, no. 
You know what a CP70 is? No. Do you... Uh, can you put words and letters in front of oh, any yeah, of these? Like I'm slivers? Duke, Dames... Yeah. David. David. And... and James. And James. James. And James. Luke. Oh, yes. Well, there may um, be another collection. Oliver. Yes. Uh, Oliver. Why didn't Why didn't I didn't ask leave? Evans, um, Richard Evans. Uh, Some of the cabbies and the Some of the Scholarships. Surnames. Redwall might be an abbey because that seems relatively obscure compared to the others. Um, what about Nightmare? Difficulty level on Doom? You've got 30 seconds. Oh, oy, oy, oy. Um, it's the same yeah. of some sort. Okay. I think we've got to guess, we've not got much time. Let's see this. Try and get those. Instrument. 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 Oh, definitely have that one. Um, CP70. That's it, you've solved the wall. Wow. OK, four points for the groups. What about the connections? Avid, Uke, Liver, Ames. You can add a, a letter to them to make uh, boys, names. boys' names. That's absolutely right. David, Luke, Oliver, James, if you add letters. And the green group, starting Downton. Uh, African explorers and politicians. <laughs> Very much no, although in a sense they have explored abroad. Not cricket fans. We, are, we think we are, yes. but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> they are England wicket keepers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the pink group, starting CP70. They're all musical instruments of some sort. Now, for a place in the final, I need you to be at least a little more specific. Uh, Combinations okay. of multiple musical instruments made into a new instrument? I'm afraid not. Yeah. They are all electric keyboards. Okay. Uh -huh. The CP70, it looks like a grand piano, but it's electric, yes. it's a Yamaha. And the last group, starting Northanger. Abbeys? I can see nothing else. I, I Why not Abbeys? I'll take it. I yeah. won't ask you to tell me that they're all literary, fictional yeah, abbeys. Yeah, yeah. So, four points for the groups and two points for the connections. That's a total of six. Let's bring in the QILs, give them an equally fiendish and horrible wall and see if they can sort it into four nasty groups of four. It's a nice welcome for you, isn't it, Elves? <laughs> You'll be getting the water wall because the line has gone. You have two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Okay, what have we got? Okay, uh, Wizards of Oz, Narnia, uh, Fictional Kingdoms, Oceania is one, I think Tharp, 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 Oh, so there's loads of those, right? Yeah, Nuri, so they are ballet dancers, ballet dancers, right? Ballet dancers, do we have any other ballet dancers? Um, yeah, I'm sure we do. Acosta is one, you I think, think he's the so, lead, yeah. and I um, don't know this name. Okay. So was it a kind of wool or something? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, that's a good point. Maybe there's like sort of camelot cloth or... Okay. Um, um, Crowdfield sounds like it could be a kind of uh, wool thing mm -hmm. as well, doesn't it? A costa could be any of those things. Um, should we keep going with yeah. um, Do you want to have fictional, fictional kingdoms? kingdoms? Yeah, is there a sort of obvious one we can leave out? Uh, well, not really, Troy, because they're all... I'm going to look at some, some word ones while you're doing that. Yeah. That's got the word harp in. Are there any other ones with... This has got um, word... Um, well, what's that? Is that uh, so, uh, other names, foreign names for British names? Um, Gilead. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, William. You mean? No, I think these are in uh, the Mort D'Arthur. OK, any others? Okay. Um, Maybe a Costa or a Tron? No. Um, um, let's go. Sharp. I think... Wait. Sharp. Okay. I think they're in there. Pete, what could Tom Pete be? Leo. Wait, is, is this got verb in it? Um, like like yeah. parts of speech inside That's got them. Leo and Roy. Are there any others with names? Names for kings? Mel? Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Okay. Um, Keep going. Yeah. 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 What was the other one we had? Uh, we had Leo Roy. That's it. Oh. Your time is up, <laughs> defeated <laughs> by the wall. But you can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find. So let's see what it should have looked like. There you go. Okay. The first group: Camelot, Troy, Galileo, Nijinsky. That um, horse, uh, race horses. They are racehorses. Can you be any more specific? I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> winning, winning, winning. Have champion. they all won something? Yeah, they all won the Derby. Oh, okay. All racehorses okay. that won the Derby. 
What about this next group, Oceania or Oceania, Oz and the rest? Uh, we think they're fictional kingdoms. Yeah, they're fictional lands, lands in fictional works. And the pink group, starting Tharp. Uh, we're going to try that they are... Um, we think they might be ballet dancers. Yes, they are. Or ballet dancers. Oh, and the last group, Compete, Worsted, Verbatim, Chromophil. They all end in a man's name. Yes, they do. What was amazing was that you noticed Leo and Roy, <laughs> <laughs> the two red herrings, and didn't notice any yeah. of the ones yeah. that were actually in the group. I'm looking in the middle of the word, maybe, yeah. instead of at the end. That was the yeah. thing. Yeah. But although you get no points for the groups, you will get four points for the connections, so that is a total of four. Yes. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The QI Elves have seven points, the Orienteers have 19. So it's time for round four, the missing vowels round. We've taken the vowels out of some fiendish names, phrases and sayings. We've squished up the consonants. Teams, can you tell me what the disguise clues are? Fingers on buzzers. The first group are all things that are not an orange. Orange is. William of Orange. Correct. Orange is. Agent Orange. Correct. Orange is. Orange County. Correct. Elves. Mock Orange. Correct. Next category English language national anthems. Orange is. O Canada. Correct. Elves. Jamaica land with love. Not it, I'm afraid, Orienteers, do you know? Jamaica land we love. That's right, you'd have needed a TH. Next clue. Don't know this one. It's all hail Liberia hail. Next clue. Orienteers? I don't know. No, that's <laughs> not it. Elves, do you know? Forever Marshall Island. Well done. <laughs> Next category, alternative names for fruit and vegetables. Elves. Chinese, Chinese gooseberry. gooseberry. Correct. Orange is. Snow pea. Correct. Orange is. Alligator pear. Correct. Elves. Lady's fingers. Correct. Next category, features of the solar system. But we will not be seeing any features of the solar system. That was a great red spot, but the great red bell has gone off to mark the end of the quiz. And I can tell you that finishing in first place with a ridiculous 25 points and through to the final, it's the Orienteers. Brilliant. <laughs> And Fantastic. with an also very impressive in that show, 10 points oh, in goodness. second place, our losing semi finalists are the QI Elves. It's been lovely to have you here, Elves. I'm afraid tonight you came up against a team that I can only assume are aliens. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for tonight. Next time we meet, it will be in the jazzy excitement of the final. Unless we bump into each other in the street before then, in which case we'll just say an awkward hello. My favourite kind, you probably remember from the start of the show. Goodbye. <laughs>